two, one, action. It's very good to be back. We're only a few weeks in, but it's been amazing. This year, we introduced new design to be worn by the seeker and the goalkeeper, Harry and Ron. The Quidditch is a very dangerous game. We wanted to have something a little bit stronger. This has been introduced because of the age of the players and because of the danger, because they go a lot further when they are 17 or 16 years old. They dare much more, so the game, being more dangerous, needs new protections. He will protect his shoulder and his back. The cape is something that you wear to fly. It has a hood because we are wizards. Protection against the ball. This has an inspiration of American football, but it's not the American football completely because the shoulder had to be able to move when they were flying. We thought also maybe introducing a helmet. They might not wear it during the match because that might be too much. But when they are training, they will wear it. We also have the new Swedish outfit for the sleeve ring. It is in silver. It has some beautiful black and silver emblem. It is a lot more silky. The sleeve ring team will look very frightening. This year, they look a lot bigger and they look really cool. And they feel extremely macho with it. And, and it looks fantastic. We love it. <laughs> It's very good to be back. We're only a few weeks in, but it's been amazing. The orphanage is a really significant set because it's our introduction to Tom Riddle. This explains where he comes from. This is, you know, totally new uh, environment. is based on, we found the most amazing building in Docklands, Liverpool, with classical allusions and so on. So this is based on that. I mean, so often we do a bit of research and there's usually something that we find that sparks an idea that, uh, you know, gives us a direction. We now have a stock London street on the back lot here at Leavesden. The orphanage is not a warm and friendly place. No, it's a large, uh, rather brutal Victorian red brick thing in the middle of all this admittedly dilapidated but rather refined London Georgian architecture. So it stands out in a, in a really striking, iconic way. The gateway here is a kind of echo of David Lean's Oliver Twist. Starts with the girl crossing the moor, pregnant Oliver's mother, and then going into the, uh, into the workhouse, in fact, and there's this creaky old metal sign. So this is a little bit of homage to David Lean up there. Inside the orphanage is very hard surfaces, Victorian glazed brick, very popular in the 19th century, highly reflective. So it has this brutal, hard exterior, very tall ceilings. That's what's exciting, nice about it. I hope it is and believe it is a truly fantastic space.